Hello and welcome back to the Legal Help for Veterans VA Form Assistance Tutorials. Today we are going to be walking you through VA Form 2141401, Employment Questionnaire. While this is a critical form in continuing your VA benefits, as will be explained, please know that this tutorial will only be relevant to those veterans that are already receiving a total disability rating as a result of a grant of individual unemployability. If you are not being paid at the 100% disabling due solely to entitlement to individual unemployability, this video will not apply to you. Unlike other forms we've discussed in our tutorials, this form is typically mailed directly to each qualifying veteran once a year. Whether you are represented by this office, another attorney, a VSO, or any other qualifying veterans advocate. If you are currently represented by this office, please do not assume that we were notified of this mailing as again, this is typically mailed directly to the veteran only. As a legal help for veteran client, please notify this office of your receipt of this form and we will be happy to assist you with its completion. If you are not a client or are a client but want to complete the form on your own, we will address the two possible scenarios that will affect you for the completion of this form. First, whether you have worked in any capacity within the previous 12 months, or second, if you have not worked at all. Regardless of which scenario you fall into, you should validate the accuracy of your name and address in the larger box at the top on the left, and if inaccurate, make any necessary corrections. If not already pre-filled, you should always enter your file number in box 2, which will either be your social security number or your eight digit service number. You should then elect which scenario matches your individual employment status in box three. Yes, if you earned income in the last 12 months or no, if you did not work in any capacity during the last 12 months. We remind you that only income earned by working counts. Any money received from Social Security or other retirement supplements, for instance, should not be considered here as they are not earned income. As this form is being sent to you because you are already receiving individual unemployability, we will start with the completion of this form for those that mark no in box 3, affirming that you have not worked at all in the past 12 months. If you did not work in any capacity during the previous 12 months, you should skip to the very bottom of the page, signing your name in box 6B, dating the form in box 6A, completing box 6C, and adding your contact phone numbers in box 6D. Once you have signed and dated the form in boxes 6B and 6A respectively, you have completed your obligation to the VA and your entitlement to individual unemployability should continue uninterrupted for another year until you're asked to repeat this process. For those that did earn any income during the trailing 12 months, you will need to mark yes in box 3 as discussed previously, and then continue to section 1, employment certification. You will need to enter the name and address of your employer in box 4A, a brief description of the type of work performed in box 4B, your average hours per week in box 4C, the dates you worked in box 4D, the amount of hours lost during that time period due to injury or illness in box 4E, and the highest amount of compensation you were paid in any given month in box 4F. You should repeat this information for any additional jobs held in the second and third row of boxes if necessary. If you held more than three different jobs in the previous 12 months, you can simply write the additional positions on a separate sheet of paper providing the same information that you did for the first three rows on the form itself. Once you have provided the information requested in section, four, in section 4, you should sign your name in box 5B, date the form in box 5A, complete box 5C should this apply to you, and add your contact phone numbers in box 5D. With your signature and date, you have completed your obligation to the VA. Please note that pending the information provided in section 4, it is possible that the VA will reduce your monthly payments as a means to offset the income earned or even revoke your entitlement to individual unemployability if the wage you earned in the previous 12 months is deemed gainful. Regardless of your scenario, upon completion of this form, you should submit this form 
to this office if you are already a Legal Help for Veterans client or fax it to the Evidence Intake Center at 844-531-7818 if you are not a present client. The VA typically requires this form to be completed and returned within 60 days of transmission. However, it is our recommendation that you complete and return the form as soon as possible to minimize any chance for suspension of your monthly total disability payment. As always, if you are a Legal Help for Veteran client, you can call our office for assistance with this form or any aspect of your VA claim. We hope this video has helped make this process easier for you. If you have any additional questions, feel free to contact Legal Help for Veterans at 1-800-693-4800.